The Brecon Beacons National Park is famed for its beautiful landscapes and scenic walks, but its best kept secret is the wide array of swimming spots that can be found all across the park. Unlike my last wild swimming video, which I'll leave a link to in the description, I won't be showing you how to get to these specific spots. Instead, I want to tell you the methods that I use to find these places myself, as the locations in this video will be from more secret locations that I've found since moving here. Firstly, anyone that knows me also knows that I love to bury my head into a paper map. I've found a number of locations using this method, as the Ordnance Survey maps in particular have little icons that read waterfall along the rivers that are far too tempting not to check out. I also own a variety of the Wild Guide guidebooks. I definitely recommend the Wild Guide Wales, as I have found many locations of interest, not just wild swimming spots, thanks to this book. Secondly, the apps. There are hundreds out there, but the two that I use the most are Google Maps, where you can use satellite images to scope around for wide sections of rivers, for example, and then I also use the All Trails app, which you can use search parameters on to find waterfalls or lake walks that have the potential to become swimming locations. And finally, the most exciting method is the traditional ways. 
which is by either exploring an area yourself and stumbling across the perfect spot, or by speaking to a local and having them point you in the right direction. This is my personal favourite, as it feels a lot more adventurous this way. I've found a lot of swimming locations in the Brecon Beacons just by following my curiosity and exploring a little further than the average person. I've got no idea what this waterfall is called, or even if it exists anywhere, or if it's really well known, or if it's really unknown. Uh, we just found it one day by accident, and now it's a little spot we'll come back to a couple of times. Please let me know what other methods you use to find wild swimming spots and I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Thanks for watching.